In this movie, I want to talk about different kind of uh, views that we have for our objects. For example, right now, I have this guy and I have a little animation of him moving a little bit. And as you can see, it's taking a long time to give me a feedback of what is he doing. Well, first thing, this is because I am not uh, having the real time uh, feedback of my animation because I have to activate it. And you can see how it moves a little bit uh, quicker, right? But for example, let's say that we have a lot of these guys, all right? And all of them have different textures and they have a lot of polygons, a lot of detail. We have cards, we have, uh, I don't know, uh, a complicated scene. So every time when we create an animation and we try to, to see or watch our animation playing, uh, Houdini, well, actually our system needs to read all that information. And if it is a lot and we don't have a lot of uh, RAM, it's gonna take uh, down our system and we're gonna uh, wait a long time to see our animation. So what we can do is, in, this is one case, all right? Uh, but I, I just want to show you the different kind of uh, views that we have. Well, this box right here, this uh, cube, allows us to change in the, for different views of our objects. Right now we are using the shade uh, uh, of our texture. We can see the texture in, in our viewport. But if I go here and change to wireframe, now what I have, well, actually this is wireframe bounding box right not just uh, not just wireframe so what I have now is another representation of my object but I don't see the the shape and all the polygons and how Dini doesn't need to read all that kind of information and either my system so it can play a little bit faster and give me a better response now you can see how it moves and for in cases of animation I can have a complicated uh, scene and still see how my objects are moving inside my viewports. All right, so I can manipulate uh, my objects and see them working in my 3D view. Now we have different options, as you can see. We have shaded bounding box. If I click here, now we can see this object moving still, but we have a representation of where uh, this area is uh, what uh, area is taking uh, my object. We have a wireframe. Now we can see the shape of my object, but I don't see the, the shade of my object, all right? So that's uh, another way to, to see my objects. I can see through him, and that's helpful if we want to see through this, if we have another object behind him, and so on. So we have different options. Now, if you want to see a better look of your character, you can use this one. If you want to see it in a better way, smooth shaded, the one that we were using before. And if you want to see your object and you want to see also the polygons, you can go and select the smooth wire shaded. And there we go. We have this option. We can see our object, object, excuse me, with uh, all the polygons and all the detail. All right. So other thing I'm going to show you, well, first, you know, we have different options, but for example, if you don't want to go here and change. You can see that you don't have the shortcuts for any of this, right? Actually, we have one, and that is using our W key. If I press W, I change the wireframe, W, I re uh, revert, and I came back to my uh, shaded uh, view. Okay, with the W key, I can change between one or the other and I can see my animation if I press it change without a problem see you in the next movie